Good morning guys, so I haven't picked up the camera in a while and I'll tell you guys why in a different video I don't know if you guys could tell my eyes are hella red right now because I just woke up, it's like 8 in the morning But I'm trying to get this started um, So we're, we got two things to do today is I'm going to paint my calipers and I'm going to um, bleed my brakes And I'm gonna make two separate videos about it because how I bleed the brakes is using that um, canister where like you, you apply pressure so it could be a one person job so I want to give that that thing a review I think it was like 50 60 bucks on Amazon and then painting the calipers is a whole different thing so I'm here at Harbor Freight Harbor Freight and I'm just gonna grab some stuff I gotta grab um, two more jack stands um, so it could be the same level when I jack up the car and then um, I don't oh, I forgot to check if I had a turkey baster in my house I'm gonna have to check that oh, man I, I, mean, I could go buy a turkey baster but then it's like ah uh, so I could go buy a turkey base, but then if I already have one at home, I can't return that one because of the whole lockdown we're still having. So it's actually May 1st right here in San Jose, and we got extended for a whole other month, which sucks. But I gotta get a turkey baster, and then I gotta get a clear hose. So let's, I'm gonna go into Harbor Freight. And then I'll just update you guys. I wonder, I wonder if they have turkey basters there. We'll see. Alright, just got back from um, O'Reilly's Harbor Freight and Mi Pueblo. Um, bought the three ton jack. I got those two, but I need the other two so I can have everything leveled. Uh, turkey baster. And I bought these at Harbor Freight, but then I remember I needed like a clear hose, so I bought this one, uh, which is a bleeder kit. So I guess I didn't have to buy that one, but I feel like these hold better. Um, so hopefully this cap fits on that cap. I mostly just needed this clear hose. This thing was like 11 bucks, hella expensive. That was like three bucks for three. Uh, so hopefully this hose fits. Otherwise uh, I have another clear hose, but we'll see. Okay guys, so just gotta loosen the lug nuts, then jack it up and then remove both back wheels. So let me just do that. I don't have to bore you guys with that part. All right, wheels are out. Damn, look how small these are. Can't wait to get bigger rims. I'm going most likely with 18 by 9.5, 35, 38 offset around there. And this is just surface thrust. Rotor looks good. Cool, it's not spinning because I have the e-brake on. So we're gonna paint all this. So right now I'm debating if I should do it the lazy way. Which means I don't have to like disconnect anything. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do it that way. I think I'm gonna do it the professional way which is completely disconnect everything. I gotta figure out what uh, side socket it is. I think it's an eight or 10 millimeter. And then right here is the bleeding. A uh, little bleeder cap, but we're not gonna bleed it just yet. I didn't record it, but I took out the bolt and then I took out the um, the line, or not the line, but the connector for the brake fluid, and then I just put water bottles because um, they weren't fitting in the ones I bought, and it's just gonna be dripping. So I'm just gonna go paint the calipers. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna paint the calipers and then reinstall it. So there is gonna be air in the system. Unfortunate, but that's okay. All right, so I'm in my backyard and just put this thing on top of some plants that my mom has. And we're gonna clean all this first. It's not too dirty. Honestly, most of the dirt just wipes off with the glove. But we're gonna be using um, brake cleaner, clean all this off. And then we're gonna mask it with some masking tape. 
mostly just gonna mask off um, these rubber parts. Um, probably like the where the bolts go in, uh, the bleeder valve, and then where it connects. And then this is so these are only the rear ones. Um, the front one, same procedure. But right now I just have my car jacked up from the back. And then I'm gonna jack it up from the front so it could be leveled, and then I'm gonna bleed it like that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna paint them right now. So let me just clean it with the brake cleaner, and then I have some brushes. I bought I bought, I bought some brushes at Harbor Freight. Um, I'm probably gonna use these, or maybe even a toothbrush. It might be a softer with a toothbrush. But I feel like these work fine. They're all like different. These feel more like wiry. This one feels more like more like a toothbrush. So I'll probably use this one right here. I was masking the calibers. Put some TJ Hunt in the background. I think right now he's talking about his brakes for his 370Z. That thing's coming out pretty nice that he put the Nismo bumpers and stuff. But yeah, um, put the calipers. I put the tape on the calipers and then now we're just gonna primer it and paint it. So let me go, let me show you guys what paint and primer I'm gonna use. I wanted to look for one with the white coat. And then this is a paint I'm gonna use. It's blue. Well, the camera doesn't really capture it, but this is more like a RS blue, focus RS blue, and then a clear coat. I was trying to look for even brighter blue, more like a teal bright blue, but I couldn't find that one. So I just ended up going with this one. It should come out looking good. You know, the car is white and then caliper is blue. So let's see how it goes. Here's an update. So I hung them. My mom has this like wall of roses and I just kind of hooked them on to the um, branches, you could say, and primer first. And then I'm getting ready to put the first coat of blue paint. I did three coats of primer on each of them. I'm gonna inspect them before painting them just to make sure I got everything. And then I'm gonna do three or four coats of the blue and then one or two coats of the gloss. Okay, so the camera's still not capturing the color. But it's pretty much, like I said, world, not world rally blue, uh, I mean RS blue. It's a, like really bright blue. Yeah, but it just doesn't capture it on the camera, which sucks. Okay, I'm jacking up the front. But I just wanted to show you guys the new three-ton jack stands. Harbor Freight. I think they're like 25 bucks. I don't remember. Super cheap. Sturdy. Feels good. Brake bleeders right here. A little bit more convenient than the back ones. Oh wow, the headers are right there. You know, I never bothered to check for the headers and they're like right there. Damn, that's so easy to uh, take off. Um, comment down below what headers I should get. I'm thinking about the Tomei's, but then I think there's a what, JDL's that come with the lifetime warranty. So, I don't know, comment down below. Actually, I'm gonna go with Flex Fuel Ecotech Tune. Uh, and I think there's a guy in um, SoCal that everybody's referring to in the forum, so I'm probably gonna check them out. Uh, but it's so expensive. You take these off, same thing. Two bolts to take this one off, two bolts for those. The mistake I did make in the back was um, the bleeder valve, I should have uh, loosened that one off right now. So let me do that first. How much water that I always leave, like the water bottles inside of my car. And I knew one day they were gonna come in handy. Boom. Boom. Look at all that brake fluid. Looks super clean though. So, putting one water bottle all around. And this one dripped the most. The front one looked like it didn't drip at all. Uh, and just as I thought. I gotta figure out how to get that off. I think you could just. Oh, there you go. Yep, it all just poured out. Damn it. Yep, it all poured out. 
it's cool. I'm gonna top it off, and then put, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so I just took out the caliper from this side. Um, so this is weird. If you guys could comment down below for sure. Um, you know, I put the water bottle, and it looks like. I don't know. It looks like milk or something. I don't know what that is, but it's not like that golden fluid. So you guys can comment down below what this is. It obviously came from the brake line. I don't know. Is that water? I don't know what that is. Uh, the washer went in there, so I have to, I'm gonna have to empty this out so I could get the washer. But I don't know. It's so weird that like I don't know what the what fluid that is. So comment down below. This is how the calipers ended up looking like. And sorry, the camera doesn't really capture it. Um, but they came out looking really good. I didn't really get some of the bottom parts, but it's okay. It's not like we're gonna really notice that part. So it's gonna look good. The car's dirty right now. It's gonna really pop. And then you guys just have to wait and see to see what rims I get. I might order those. I gotta talk to my girlfriend so she can buy me some. Uh, yeah, my gloves ripped. I don't have any more gloves. So I'm just trying to you, you know, something's better than nothing, right? I won't bore you guys, so I'm just gonna put them. That's pretty much how they look like. Yeah, the camera does not capture this blue. But wow, it looks amazing. It's a little bit dirty. Um, just from installing the little brake clips, but it wipes right off. But now I have to actually attach the hose and bleed it. All the calipers are on, brakes are on. Hopefully, I put all the brake pads on the right spot. And then I tighten everything, and all the hoses are on. So now all I have to do is bleed it. But pretty much, there's no fluid in the system. By the way, always be careful when you're working on your car. I whacked myself in the head right here. It doesn't look like it's that big, but oh, it hurts so bad. And I feel a little bump. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. So, remember just clean around it. Kind of toss this trash out. Just clean around it. Make sure everything's good. And then open it up. And then we gotta take that thing out. We gotta take out the filter. So I just pull it up. And then I'm just gonna cover it with this towel. Just place it right there. And then I'm gonna fill it up. So let me grab the oil real quick. But make sure you never leave it open like that. And then if you guys are wondering what oil or fluid I'm gonna be using, it's the brake fluid dot 5.1. Do not use 5.0 on this one. I grabbed two from Amazon. They sent me a sticker, which most likely I'm gonna slap that sticker on my laptop. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is um, pretty much just gonna dump it in there and then make sure it's at the max and then I'm gonna go around and make sure, I'm gonna dump it in there and then I'm gonna go around all, all the wheels to make sure I tighten it. I tighten it pretty good, and then I'll start bleeding it with. Try to title the video. This thing. This thing. So I'm gonna use this to do it, and I'll show you guys how to use this in a bit. So what I did is I just make a hole like that. Just there's no point making the hole the hole really big. Just make it like that, and then I filled it up to the top. And then I'm just gonna cover it. So the kit comes with the container, clear hose. This is gonna attach to your reservoir. And then this attaches to this right here. This little, it's really stuck in there. To this right here. They connect like that. And then it comes with the clear thing with the clear hose. I think this is the one you use to bleed it. And then it comes with the extra O-ring 
which you can use right here. Verga! You know what up? <laughs> and then pump it to 10 psi. So it's at 10 PSI and we're going to start bleeding. And remember to follow the method of farthest from the back, I mean farthest from this, so it's the back right, then the back left, then front right, front left. So let's go to the rear right first. And then I use the Harbor Freight thing and then I'm using the same hose that came with the kit. I bought this one, um, but let me check if this fits. If it doesn't fit, I'll use that one or this extra one right here. So just remember to get the little cap from the bleeder valve and then just and then just leave it like right there. Don't forget where you left it, and then let's see if it fits. Cool, so it actually fits. So remember, try to do like a high point. Um, somewhere, I'll say like right there. Right there's good. I'm just gonna set it up right there. Cool, so there's a high point, and then let me just grab the correct socket okay I don't know if you guys see the fluid I just loosened it a little bit and again in case you guys are wondering it's a 10 millimeter cool just keep loosening it until the fluid is dripping I can't tell if it's like leaking no, it looks like it's it's going in there. Cool. So So I'm not gonna lie guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first time I ever changed brake fluid. And if it makes sense, which I'm trying to think of in my head right now, but it's like oh dude this, this even though this doesn't look that big, it fing hurts. So if it makes sense, I put new fluid, so there shouldn't be any old fluid, and there is, it's probably like 5%. So if I'm bleeding it, and it looks like there's no air bubbles, then I could just close it, and then that means there's no brake fluid. I mean, there's an only new brake fluid, right? Does that make sense or no? Ugh, I could probably look like an idiot or a noob in this. But that makes sense. All right, so boom. I don't have to bleed it more, because it's like new fluid. So I'm gonna close it back up and then I'm gonna go check in the front and see how much it went down. And then I gotta see if um, it went down in PSI. If it did, I just gotta pump it a little bit more. Remember, you always try to keep it at 10 to 15 PSI with that thing. Okay, so it looks like it's dropping a bit. So let me pump it a little bit more so it could go up a little bit over 10 PSI. All right, and then this is the aftermath of how it looks like with the rim and the caliper <laughs> looks pretty good actually with the white um, the bleeder thing I'll show you guys to see if it worked I'm going to test it by driving it right now it was my first time bleeding the brakes so I feel like it was a little too easy with this thing so I don't know if I did it right or wrong but the reservoir has enough fluid it's at max I bled everything it seems like nothing has air bubbles so it should be good okay so it's the next day uh, I got really late and really dark so let me just update you guys on what happened um, I bled the brakes um, and it didn't work the pedal was just super soft so my brother helped me bleed them again a second time and then that, that's when it worked good so I didn't do it the original way that's supposed to be which is um, 
uh, filling, the ha filling half the tank with fluid. So since I took out the calipers, the lines pretty much drained out of the old fluid and I topped it off with the new fluid. And in the container, I put like one bottle of the new fluid. So pretty much what it was I was doing, it was just compressing the air onto the res and it was just making pressure. So it simulates um, when somebody goes and like presses the brake, you know, to apply the pressure. So honestly, the, with doing that, it took me like maybe five to like, I'll, I'll say maybe like 10 to 15 minutes um, with that canister. So definitely it's a good thing to have. Um, instead of like what taking like maybe 30 minutes to an hour um, with two people um, pretty much I was just there like looking at my brother just holding the flashlight since it got dark and he was doing everything so it's possible to do it with just one person so I'm sorry I can't really give you a good review on that it just got super late and then I actually bumped my head I don't know if I talked about it in the video but I think I did but let me show you guys the calipers Goes pretty good, right? Yeah, like I said, guys, the camera's not really picking up the color. It's like super. I don't know. It has like a grayish to it, but it's it's like like I said, an RS blue, and it really stands out. <laughs> 